Hey guys, this is Hang Dango. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I invite back the one and only Karen William. She was one of my first models when I launched the channel and the video did really well. We love the video, everyone loves it. And thank you Karen so much for coming back to the channel. This time, instead of more softer makeup, she let me just do a bit more fuller, fuller coverage, a bit more color, more everything. I hope you enjoy the makeup look. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you, Karen, for coming back. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Always a pleasure. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. We're happy to have Karen back today. And as you can see, her skin looks flawless without anything. But then again, I say every video, even if the skin is really beautiful like this, I still want to prep the skin before makeup because that, for me, is the most important in beautiful makeup, long-lasting, and of course, love for yourself. The first product I always use is lip balm. The lip balm I'm using today is the Ole Henderson, the Reserve Peptide Lip Treatment. This is a great lip balm that helps to plumb and hydrate the lips. I sometimes use this at night as a lip mask as well if you want really rich lip balm. Second product I'm using is the Sable Lab Black Seed Toner. If you guys see the video I did with Sabrina before, this is her brand which I really love because it's really about people with pigmentation and it's great. It has vitamin C, vitamin E, and to improve the skin tone. The next product I'm using is the Ole Henderson Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is an antioxidant eye cream with vitamin C and it's great to prep under makeup. And I always say, be gentle around the eye area. It's the most delicate area on the face. I personally always prep on the eyelid as well. I know some people don't. They feel that you don't need to prep them. It's personal preference, but I think, you know, anywhere their skin, I like to prep with eye cream and moisturizer. The next product is the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. This serum is great to plump and bright skin with vitamin C. It's great for daytime under makeup. The best way to really press the vitamin C into the skin. Karen have a little bit pigmentation here, so all the product I use today is really focused on that. Believe it or not guys, this is more common than you think. Myself, right now I cover with foundation concealer, but I also struggle with the pigmentation all around here. The last product I'm using is the Sable Lab Baobab Moisturizer. It's a very hydrating and fast absorbing moisturizer, vegan, gluten free. It has niacinamide in there, spreading, akuchoi, shea butter. It's great for hydrating skin, yeah. Mm -hmm. We had Serena, uh, the founder of the brand, came in not long ago and she gave us so many insights about the product and mm -hmm. I love it. Always give some love to the skin. Mm -hmm. 
Let me tell you something that the reason why Karen had this amazing skin. She came in today <laughs> <laughs> on the train with a full <laughs> face mask <laughs> and then she wear a mask on top. So if you wonder why you guys would comment on someone have like, oh, she's a nail cap, she's a model, she has a great skin. But in order to have this amazing skin, you have to give a lot of love to the skin as well. And you definitely give that love because, I mean, she know that we are filming today. She take even extra care on the skin. Yes. Right? Yes. So that's why like I, I was amazed and I was like, we filmed a younger model earlier, like she was 20 years old. And I just mm -hmm. gave her some tips about like, take her, her skin for like doing fashion week coming up. And then Karen walk in mm -hmm. with her mask on her face. And then that when I say, see, if you want to model as long as Karen, you need to take care of yourself like that. Absolutely. Yeah. It's Fifty just seven years old. Huh? <laughs> yeah. It's just because, you know, like a thing is that, you know, the people understand, like, it's not just genetic alone. You have to really take care of it because, you know, someday I don't give myself a lot of love with the skin. You know, like if I travel so much, I'm rushing. I feel that my skin is not as, you know, like radiant as it should be, mm -hmm. you know. And what do you do when you when you ha when you feel that way? Keep some love back to the skin. You have to, you know, you can always pick it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's important, so. The last makeup look we did on Karen is more a natural skin and more softer, dewier makeup look today. I think we are going to do more of fuller coverage foundation. And I understand that, you know, a lot of people say, oh, when you're over 40, you should wear more natural makeup, but that's not true. I have clients who are over 40 love a full beat, you know, love a full glam. And I think it's uh, the most people want to learn is how to cover the melasma pigmentation and give more of a fuller coverage foundation. And that's what I'm going to do today. The first product I'm using is going to be a color corrector just to even out a little bit first. And second is I'm going to use the KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation and the Good Apple lightweight full coverage concealer first for the color corrector you see i'm doing all the area that i want to correct a little bit the great thing about color corrector is that they not heavy pigmented they just really correct the color without deposit too much of the pigment so you can go on the foundation a lot and without the skin looking too cakey right now i'm put mainly just where Karen have the melasma pigmentation and then around the mouth a little bit. Most people have deeper skin tone or olive skin tone or myself. We tend to have around the mouth the color a little bit different. And then you can use the finger, the sponge. The one I'm using is from NARA. They have multiple different shades. I think this is the number three that they, they have or number two. We're gonna list everything on the description box and then you can find out exactly. You can see that just a little color corrector that it just helped to even everything out already. So if someone who don't want too much coverage, they can just do a little color corrector and concealer. And that's all you need to do as well. And I know last video after I did Karen, people always ask me, why don't I use color corrector on Karen? And here, this is if I use color corrector, this is how I would do. I do a little bit first before I apply the foundation. You can see the difference between one side and the other. You see that just a little bit of color corrector, the skin look amazing already. Now I'm going to give Karen more of fuller coverage foundation. This foundation is a great foundation for perfect for combination or oily skin. And it's more matte natural finish, I think. It is transfer proof, sweat and humidity resistant. It's very lightweight on the skin. You see that it's covered really well and it gives a really beautiful natural matte finish.
The great thing about the shade range of this foundation is they have 40 different shades. So you have a lot of range. And it's out very sponsored, but it's not. I'm just like, this is, they just sent to me as a PR package because they just launched. I love their concealer already, but the foundation is really fantastic. You can see that it's covered really well. And Karen and I would discuss earlier, so we chose the shades a little warmer because, you know, we like to warm it up the skin a little bit. This color, definitely a tiny bit warmer than her natural skin, but I think it's beautiful on the camera. Karen, what do you normally wear your makeup every day? Not a lot, or a little uh, bit? Not at all, <laughs> except for shoots. I, you know, yeah. I think the skin needs to breathe. Yeah. You know, I like, and also I like the transformation. I like to be able to come and, and discover, you know, new me every time I go and yeah. sit in someone's chair. So how have you been? Been really great. The video did really well. Last time you was here, um, thank you so much for coming to the channel for that. And I'm glad you're coming back for a second video. But I was like, you know, last time we gave her pretty natural makeup. I think this is like, we give more fun. So. It's great, Hung. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm so proud of you anytime I look at your Thank videos. You. you know, it's it's just the range of humans that you're able to it, it just celebrate. Yeah. You find beauty in so many different faces and your channel shows all of us how to apply not just makeup, but how to bring beauty out from everyone and i think it's such a skill you have so thank you thank you but the thing is that like last video um people always so mention about the pigmentation melasma mm -hmm. that we they want to learn how to mm -hmm. cover so that's why i tried to do that on camera today mm -hmm. but i think what you said earlier was uh, was right like it's not just pigmentation mm -hmm. so you want to explain what you say earlier yes i was saying that some people have hyperpigmentation that's caused by you know acne scars or sunspots but my particular hyperpigmentation is caused by melasma mm -hmm. and melasma is an overgrowth of um, melanocytes wow. and these are really technical words right i had to learn this but it's it's hormone related mm. and so some people go through it with pregnancy mm -hmm. and some people also go through it with menopause which in my case it was menopause yeah. and so it's it's just a um you'll see like it looks like sunspots yeah um, and they usually are symmetrical. So what's on one side will be on the other. And the worst thing for anyone to do is try to diagnose it themselves. I actually had to go to the dermatologist to just make sure I knew what it was. Yeah. And then, you know, try to treat it accordingly. But the thing is, I was told that it will never go away. Mm. And I don't know if you experience it, if you've seen it. I have, I have it myself too. Okay, and uh, do, you, do you notice that it, it's not something that will disappear? It's not go away because you treat and it go away and it come back and right. it go away and come back. Right. But as you can see right now, your face was fully covered. Yep. So what I'm using the foundation right now, I know not everyone would want a fully covered foundation, but if you want to have more fully coverage that still look natural, you should try this one. Mm -hmm. I think this is great. Without looking cake. It looks very no. natural at the same time. Yes. Yeah. You see that the foundation cover really well and it does give more a natural finish, which I like. So even someone who don't want to wear any more concealer or anything like that, you still can just powder and ready to go. Or you can use the same foundation. You add a little more around the eye here or around nose. You don't have to use concealer and it still gives you a beautiful coverage. I'm using the Good Apple Lightweight concealer as well, mainly under the eye area here and around the nose. That's all I'm gonna do. Remember, today we are playing with Karen makeup, so we're gonna do everything bit more full of coverage. You don't have to wear this much of the cover at all, but I thought, you know, for a special occasion or anything like that, it was a great way to play. Some people, they love this foundation just use as a sheer coverage as well you still can you just use a little bit you don't have to apply as much as i do but if you want to have a full coverage you see that's how i do it i just really tip in the product into the skin and right now i just do mainly under the eye area and then you can see the same foundation brush just blend out the edges
Thank you for letting us play with your makeup today. You know, my pleasure. <laughs> Hung, what have you learned the most from everyone you've done in terms of, you know, what is the, the thing that you, 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 you discover about all these faces and people? For me, I've learned the most is makeup is personal. And let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. There's some video I do on the talent and the talent was like, oh my God, it's so natural. But then there's a beautiful thing, oh my God, it's so much makeup. Or the another makeup look I do on the talent, and they was like, oh my God, it's so much makeup. But then the other way around. Everyone see makeup is different. So what I'm use on you right now, maybe it's not something you would normally wear this much foundation, but for a lot of people, this is how normally for them, mm -hmm. you know? And every time I say I'm gonna give you a full coverage makeup, but a lot of people still, to them, it's still not a full coverage makeup. Mm -hmm. They was like, that's not a full coverage makeup. Mm -hmm. So it's really what I've learned about everyone is they see makeup is different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why for me, the most successful makeup artist is not about like how you do makeup. It's where really you understand you have to communicate with the client. You have to understand each person aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And the same thing you can see, the concealer is more a lightweight but full coverage and you feel like skin still which I like. Next I'm going to use a cream bronzer from NARS. I'm using that the soft contour. I only ask Karen permission to let me do everything we want to play with today and she said yes. <laughs> <laughs> And the color I'm using is not too dark. You see that like a steel, give her that beautiful sculpted, but not heavy contour at all. And remember, because we have color corrector and full coverage foundation, so everything trying to do more dippling motion like this instead of swiping motion, that way you don't remove much of the products that you apply earlier. And you know what I've learned about wearing makeup? Mm -hmm. If it's a full coverage or light coverage, no matter what it is or in yeah. between. You have to rock it. Yes, and mm -hmm. you have to own it. Mm -hmm. You have to feel beautiful inside of yourself, yeah. no matter what you're looking like on the outside. Yeah. Because you may see it, you may look at me and say, oh, Karen, I've given you a full face, but there's something that I'm not feeling yeah. inside. But when I own it, oh my goodness, that's when it all comes together. But like, it's the same thing for me, like for example, yesterday, I saw a makeup artist post a video on Instagram mm -hmm. about contour. This is actually yesterday. And the makeup artist was talking about contouring and she clearly said that, and you might not agree with me, but uh, I look at the point of view differently. She was like, talk about contour. I don't believe in contour. I hate contour. And look at Kylie Jenner when she was 18 years old and she wear too much contouring and she looked like a 50 year old woman. But for me, I don't see things like that. If Kylie want to wear contour on her face, let her wear it. Like I said earlier, it's personal preference. The reason because I work on both were is photo and red carpet. And I see things completely different. What you see on photo, you can do a beautiful natural makeup on photo. People will retouch everything out. For red carpet, you need a lot more than that. You know, you need the contour, the shading, and everything because the light blows everything out. Mm -hmm. When you put so little and you don't have to like bring all the feature of the client out, you was like, where did my makeup go? You know, mm -hmm. like the client just look one dimension. It looked really flat, you know? Mm -hmm. So I see things different as well. So that's why like I disagree to those videos because people have to understand like everyone is, like I say, aesthetic different. Mm -hmm. So we have to embrace that as well. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that I keep building the products on and the foundation still doesn't look like cakey at all. And a little bit around here. 
for me, even like when I do contour, I still like everything blended together. Mm -hmm. I don't like everything just like a stripe. So it's still very soft looking. Mm -hmm. For powder, I'm going to use the Easy Bake Louis Powder from Huda Beauty. I'm using two different shades. We're gonna list it everything on the bottom here, but I don't wanna try to remember exactly what shades my team will write down for me. And for Karen, I'm gonna do the lighter shades you see around the eye area here. And then on the T-zone and the other area, you a little bit more a deeper tone, but I'm gonna set everything with the loose powder. As I mentioned in previous video before, in the early days, we really paranoid about powder with mature skin, but the technology nowadays the product is really different. It's very, the pigment is really fine. Even you put a lot of powder, you don't feel like a cake up on the mm -hmm. skin at all. That's a new technology. It was amazing with all the product nowadays. You see that I used a little lighter powder underneath the eye there. I'm going to use a bronzer as well and a little bit just to set all the area that I put the cream bronzer earlier. Very little. For the eyebrow, I'm going to use two products. One is a brow pencil and one is a brow gel, both from Refine. To start, what I'm gonna do is, you can see Karen eyebrow right here. I'm just gonna brush it in a little bit like this way. So this way I'm gonna feel the inside a little bit. And then after that, I'm just gonna extend them a little longer. So Karen, what have you been doing since last time I saw you? Oh, Hung, I've been working. <laughs> yeah, I saw that you've been really busy though. I've been really busy, yeah. A lot really. of beauties work right since then, you know? Yes, yes. I've been really, it's a, I'm so grateful, you know? Yeah. It's, um, it's amazing to see the industry embracing yeah. silver. And um, I've been having so much fun with it. That's great. Yeah, yeah. And spending time with my loved ones as well. Oh. You know, you have to balance this stuff out, you know? You just can't work all the time and it's been a nice combination. I wish I can say the same. Really, you've been <laughs> just working so hard, right? Working, yeah, I spend too much time on work as than, than anything else. And to be honest, like I started the channel during COVID, right? So during mm -hmm. like when everything was like still locked down and you guys was very kind to come and do it, support the channel. but. I mean, since go back to work normal to maintain the channel is really hard for me. But it's such a gift to yeah. so many of us, Hung. I mean, I, 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 people talk about your channel all over, and I think it's it's so important. Again, because you're embracing everyone. I we try to. You, you know are. What I mean? You're celebrating course, yeah. all different types of beauty, and people and humanity. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, I think it's important. You know, even mm -hmm. though like we're trying to, of course, like we're not able to include all yet mm -hmm. but that's at least the goal that we're trying to sure. and we're trying to make the effort for doing that yeah so you guys when you write into hung just mm -hmm. make sure that you acknowledge that that huh. he's he's still in progress <laughs> right so the process is it takes time so he's yeah. going to get there but not every single person in the world is going to be represented <laughs> but they will be a lot of people they forgot right now even we back somewhat normal working, it's still COVID time. Yeah. Japan, they just opened recently. Yep. You know, like it's just like some country, they finally just opened recently. So it's still not normal, normal for a lot of country. Mm -hmm. And even the talent for go casting, like, you know, it's hard for us to cast on the street either just because people always wear masks still and you can't see their face or mm -hmm. you don't want to come close to them if they not feel comfortable. Yep. So it's a lot of different reasons too, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, as you can see, I feel in the front and on the back here, I cheat them a tiny bit to lift it up. 
And I think after with the eyebrow gel, it kind of really lift the eyebrow up. And it's just an illusion. And, but I think it's great because when you do this, it keeps the eye natural, a natural lift there. And doing, you see what I'm doing is the eyebrow. I do brushing backward like this to so create more softer effect, especially in the front. So it's more natural looking? More natural looking. But you use a spoolie like this and you keep brushing so it's still very soft instead of harsh line. Mm. You see I do it like that and then that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And Hung, what about women who, or men or anyone who have gray in their eyebrow? How do you cover that? You can cover them, but you have to color them. So there's a product called Just For Men. I'm not sure you heard it before. It makes for a, a color your facial. Oh, okay. For the bear. So um, you can use that to color your eyebrow as well. Mm -hmm. Or model who like bleached eyebrow and they want to color the eyebrow back to their normal color. You can use that as well. And it's very easy, like 10 minutes and you're done. Or if you don't want to do that as well, Nowadays, most brands, they also have um, color brow gel, so you can use that as well. Mm -hmm. So they have like soft brow, brow, or any color, and you can use that to, to color the eyebrow too, but that's temporary only. Mm -hmm. So I just did the same on this side. And then you use the eyebrow gel, you really gel everything up. And especially that part, they have some natural hair already, so you really have to tell them flat in to help to really cheat into that shape that you're trying to create earlier. And this is a great brow gel, it's very strong. It has a little white cast, but it's gonna set clear, so you don't worry about that at all. For eyes, I'm going to use the eye primer from Jason Wu Beauty, the eyeliner from Fenty Beauty. This is a cool pencil, very beautiful one. And this eye shadow palette from YSL Beauty. I think I'm going to use more of these deeper tone here. And the mascara from Ilya. For eyeshadow primer, this is quite pigmented so you just use a tiny tiny bit only and they are tinted so they have many different shades you can use the shade lighter if you want to if you want the eyeshadow more pop i'm using this shade it's closer to Karen's skin color so it just really just even the eyelid area before i apply any eyeshadow You see that I use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but it is super, super pigmented. Next, I'm using this shape right here, all over the crease area. And as you can see, I use more flat brush, so I deposit the products better. Sometimes you use a fluffy brush, it's gonna get the product dusty everywhere. So if you really good at blending, you can use that. But this one here, you have way more control when you use a flat brush, like the way I do. You see, I really just pat the products in. Same on this side. Next, same color, same brush. I use on the lower lash line and just really pat on the products again. Use a blending brush 
a deeper color. And I really blended out the, the upper lash line. And you see the way I do, it just really pat the color in there and blend it outward and upward. Same on this side. Next, same planning brush, a deeper color. You see Karen when she looks straight, you can see the crease there. I'm gonna blend here a little bit. And now you close your eye, Karen, so you know exactly where to play the color already. Now you really blend this out. And we do the same on the other side. Next, you can go back to that shade right here with the floppy brush, a little bit of color, close your eye, and you have to blend out that edges. You can keep them the same edges you like to, but I want to blend it out so everything will be softer, more blended together. Same on this side. Just soft everything together, merge them together. And then same on the bottom here. Just blend everything out. The things that you should remember is that you create a shape, but then you really want, don't want to look harsh. You just have to blend out with the color. So you can see that. You can see you still have that crease that you're trying to create, but everything blended together with all the color. So next, what I'm gonna show you is that you can see because I cheat right here the eyebrow and I try to gel it up, you can also use a lighter color, like this one right here, and you cheat a little bit on that area. So that way, it's kind of cover some of the hair that from there without trees in them. You see that? Tiny bit. And then you use the same brush, blend in here, you just blend it up here. So it doesn't have a harsh line as well. You see that the eye now quite lifted just because that little lighter color that you cheat in there. I'm doing the same on this side. So for the eyes, smoky eye like this, curl the lashes, mascara, she looked fantastic. But as I said, we're gonna do a little more stronger on the eye. Cold pencil, your best friend. Look up for me. I'm gonna water, I'm gonna rim the whole water line with a black pencil. For inner the water line as well. And I'm telling you the whole trick about doing this is you just have to dive in and do it. If you do like, like this, a little gut scare, people are gonna irritate the eye even more. But if you go and draw the eyeliner, just go like that. And you snip it in. Yes. Does that help? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you put some of the black liner here. And this is, you can make the eye even more dramatic.
you can do this before or after it's up to you and because i don't want it to be a harsh line i want it to be a smudgy line and you see what i'm doing i just really just like smudge it out the same as i do in it and then you use that same smudgy brush you did earlier you just smudge it out even more you can see that just a little liner make a big difference and that's about makeup you build like a house a little bit at the time you see that if someone puts so much shadow and smudge it and then the liner and then mascara then the lashes it can become too much and you see that because this when you do just soft shadow like this and you build slowly with the liner and now you put mascara or lash it on the eye makeup look can be very dramatic without looking too heavy and when i say a full makeup doesn't mean it have to be heavy makeup it's still going to be strong but not heavy but impactful and that's more important and you see i'm going to do i'm going to smudge it out even more to extend the eye a little bit more And then you use that smudged brush and just blend it out a little bit. You see, Karen? Mmm. Diva and me coming out. Yes. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I just did the same on this side. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go back to the deeper color. And I just add a little more depth around here. This color right here. And guy, like I say, building the eye. If you want to do it beautifully, you have to take time. Of course, like right now, I'm talking and do the same time. So of course, it would take a little longer, but you do it yourself, you know, it wouldn't be at this long. And then you do a little more on the edges here. So it's a lot of depth. I'm going to curl the lashes and I'm going to put some Adele Wispy lashes on Karen off camera. And this is one of like the most easiest lashes and it suits almost everyone. So if you want a style that you don't confuse which lashes that you want to get for yourself that suit you, doesn't look too heavy and still natural, this would be the one. We will list it there, but this one be the one. Lash just did off camera. I'm using a little mascara to blend the natural lashes into the fall lashes together. You see that just a little coat. You can blend her natural lashes together. Do the same thing. And then do a little bit and low as well. For blush, I'm going to use this shade of blush from Valentino Beauty. The color you see that is like this, but you can see a little bit go a long way. It's quite beautiful. And they have many different shades. I love this shade on deeper skin tone or even on pale skin tone. I still love this shade. So many people can wear the color. It looks quite intimidating on the pan though. I'm doing the same on this side. Just gorgeous. Next, I'm going to use a highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their new highlighter. I like them very much. They have, I think, five different shades. And I do very little on Karen because I don't want it to be too much highlight. Keep everything more somewhat matte. For lips, I'm going to use this matte lipstick from Napla Cosmetic and the lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. 
Karen have really beautiful lip shapes. I'm not gonna cheat anything at all. I'm just gonna follow exactly natural lip shape. And just gonna fill in a little bit. And you see that I just follow the natural lip shape. And I filled in this lip liner color all over the lip first before I even apply the lipstick. I filled in the whole lips with the lip liner. You see the Karen the color on the upper lip slightly different than the lower lip. So the best way if you want a bit more even on the lips top and bottom, you just color first with the whole lip liner before you apply the lipstick. This is a very beautiful matte lipstick texture here. They have quite a good range. You guys can check it out as well. It's very velvety. You see that because Karen, the upper lip is a little slightly color different. After you painted the whole lip with the lip liner, the color all even now when you apply. This color is absolutely gorgeous on Karen. I'm glad I used this color. So beautiful. To set the makeup, I'm going to use a setting spray from One Side Beauty. This is a matte setting spray. That's the final look, guy. That's how she wake up like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dawson, so much for doing this beautiful hair, and thank you. Karen so much again for coming back to the channel and let me your beautiful canvas and you know play with the makeup look for you I mean your skin looks just amazing I mean oh, I love it thank you flawless um, thank yeah. you so much <laughs> and I hope everyone enjoy the look for me I believe that it doesn't matter how old you are where the age you are if you want to wear makeup you wear makeup you want to wear full coverage wear them one little is up to you. It's all personal preference. I think that's why the channel is all about diversity, encourage people to be themselves and do any way they want. You know, it's all about beauty. It's not just about how much or how little. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Keep the channel always a lot of love. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you.